Kiara. This is 5-Minute Global Architectural and Spatial Professional News. Episode 31. English pronunciation, and both English and traditional Chinese transcripts are included. A floating village is stranded on a dry lakebed as extreme drought grips the Amazon. Original by Laura Patterson, October 10, 2023, CNN News. In Brazil's Amazon, a once buoyant floating village now sits in the mud of Lake Piracuacuara's dried up bed due to a severe drought. The residents, cut off from the world, struggle to access food, fresh water, and fuel. This situation is a stark example of climate change's impact, with local ecosystems and human communities facing unprecedented challenges. Over a hundred river dolphins recently perished, likely due to soaring water temperatures, signaling an environmental crisis. The drought extends across Amazona state, affecting over 300,000 people in 42 municipalities. Forecasters predict worsening conditions, with reduced rainfall expected to impact around 500,000 people across 50 municipalities. In response, the state government declared an emergency, pledging assistance like food relief to those hardest hit. This ecological disaster is exacerbated by global warming, with El Niño contributing to more frequent and intense weather events. As Brazil transitions from winter to spring, the region suffers from deadly heat waves, heightened by the climate crisis. Infrared cameras enable this Swedish factory to sort more plastic than anywhere else in the world. Original by Euronews Green with AP, the 16th of November, 2023, Euronews. Sweden's Site Zero in Motala, the largest facility of its kind, is revolutionizing plastic recycling by processing up to 20,000 tons annually. It uses advanced technology, including infrared cameras, to sort 12 types of plastic, potentially doubling Sweden's recycling rate. The plant is considered a game-changer, not only for its sorting capabilities but also for creating a market for all sorted plastics, according to the Swedish Environment Protection Agency. The launch of Site Zero coincides with global discussions on a plastic pollution treaty, and represents a critical step in sustainable waste management. As plastic waste is set to triple by 2060, this facility aims to recycle 95% of packaging, significantly reducing plastic incineration and greenhouse gas emissions. However, success also depends on households properly separating waste, underlining the importance of community participation in recycling efforts. A space for humans and pigeons to share is among the highlights of Dubai Design Week. Original by Arya Jyoti, the 10th of November, 2023, CNN News. In Dubai, architects and designers focus on sustainable innovation with installations like Ahmed Al Khatan's Designist, an intimate outdoor space doubling as a pigeon shelter. Inspired by historic pigeon towers, it merges modern design with tradition and won first place in Dubai Design Week's Urban Commissions competition. This innovative approach symbolizes a shift towards sustainability in design, reflecting Dubai's architectural heritage. Dubai Design Week showcases sustainable designs, aligning with the upcoming COP28 Climate Conference's theme. Notable installations include of palm, made entirely from palm trees, and pulp fractions, utilizing waste cardboard and paper pulp. These designs emphasize environmental responsibility, showcasing practical, scalable solutions for the region. Al Katan's win in the Urban Commission's competition highlights the potential of unrestrained creativity in pushing sustainable design boundaries. We are really grateful that you took the time to listen. If you find value in this video, please consider sharing, liking, and subscribing. Also, do not forget to turn on the notification bell. A wonderful day to you all.